Hi everyone, today is Saturday, June 6, 2015. The actual anniversary of D-Day here, when the Allied forces invaded Normandy to go after Germany in World War II. Well, on our channel we show how many things happening around the world are actually signs to all of us that all of the earth is going along as a matrix perfectly by the Bible as we near the end of days. There was this incident that happened up in Colorado and where this officer was driving in the middle of the night and went through an intersection and a pipe had broken underground so a sinkhole opened up and it swallowed him and then he was able to crawl out of there all safe and sound. This may not seem like much but this is a direct sign from God. This is how these things happen. The Illuminati guy right here is known as the fifth angel that comes with the key to open the abyss. See him right here? This clown coming to deceive the world, bringing idol worship. Comes to trick everybody through there. Well, he's also known as the beast from the bottomless pit. The police. Literally. Almost like a police officer. And he's the beast that rises from the pit. Because when he comes, he brings the law. And with the law, the wages of sin are death. There's no more mercy and grace. This is the king of the Illuminati, just like a police officer. Revelation 9, 11. That's what you dial when you call the police. You're actually calling Apollyon. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. Apollo, the one who likes to be worshipped like an idol through there. Well, let's go over and show this. This is actually going to map this out in this direct area where all of this happened. See him coming out of the pit for a while there? Many of the pictures they were showing in the beginning, all you could see was the number five on the cop car, just like the fifth angel coming. See all that right there? See the Revelation 9-11 guy is... And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. Well, I don't know how much more you can say than this. A star fell from heaven. He has the keys. He's coming out of the bottomless pit with the law. And that means the wages of sin are death and judgment. That's what it means. This happened right here at West Oxford and Natchez Court. Right here in Denver. I've mapped this out for many years. I've mapped out all the world. In the book of Acts 2.1.7, it says God will show signs like this, and then it will be mapped out around the earth. The Antichrist figure coming has a darkened right eye, and he has a sword on his right arm. He is literally right in front of us, right by Columbine. He's the same spirit that caused the Columbine shootings. It's the same spirit that did the, the Aurora shootings at the theater, the James Holmes character. As I've been showing, these are all spiritual things going on. And you can actually see right here, the little horn of the Bible. Do you see that mapped out? This guy is known as the little horn. See how his right eye is darkened? And he has a sword. That is the Antichrist type figure. That's yeah, okay. We know most people don't get a chance to read all these things. So let's go ahead and show this. It's back in Zechariah 11. It's basically the wrath of the Lamb coming too. Since, the, since they sold Jesus for 30 pieces of silver and they didn't want him as the Savior, Jesus Christ is going to send this guy with the law. Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock. The, short, the sword shall be upon his arm and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clean dried up and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. That is the guy that Jesus Christ sends. He's, he's the idle shepherd. See the idol. The idle shepherd. See the idol? That's him. Busted. Got it. There he is. Right there. Perfect by the lines. Do you see where the crash was, where the hole was opened to the key to the abyss? Now, see how also it's at Columbine. See his eye? See how it's always perfect? It's not just the roads, it's everything. Welcome to the Matrix. For God to be real and for the Bible to be real, this is the only way it would be real. 
that everything I'm showing you is perfect. Now, he comes to go after the Gentiles and everybody. He goes after the Jews and everybody and the Christians and to make everybody worship his idol. We're seen as a dog, just like the foot of Jesus Christ, the dogs on the world. It represents the time of the Gentiles and grace and mercy. And grace and mercy is over. He's putting a mark of the beast on this dog right here. Now here is the Obama character. See 44 for Obama, just as he's just as we have a horse racing today called the American Pharaoh. Obama represents the American Pharaoh. See him coming with all of this red side of the world with the new world order, and this is the woman and the Christians that are caught away during a great earthquake, an 11.5 earthquake that hits the USA. When the abyss is opened, that's when that giant earthquake will happen. And you can see the Obama character right here trying to eat the dogs. I'm not kidding. Do you see all of that right there? Perfect. See where the crash was, where that all happened, where the pit was opened. There you go. There's the little horn of the Bible coming. That's what the Antichrist is called. His right eye is darkened. His sword is on his right arm. He's coming to go after the, the end of grace and mercy. The mark of the beast is coming. And there's Obama, the American Pharaoh, the new Pope or whatever, after he rises back up, trying to eat the dogs. Right in front of you. Perfect by the lines. Everyone. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. So you can see that this is all perfect right in front of you. Even the Columbine shootings. This is where the Aurora shootings were. See how it's all going perfectly as I've been showing for years? We do not know a day or a time for this event. Let's keep watch. Thank you very much, everybody. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. This is real and right in front of us all day long. Hallelujah.